Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. HAL is developing IMRH helicopters of 13 ton category for armed forces to replace the aging fleets of Russian origin MI series of helicopters which will start to phase out from 2028-29. This helicopter will be capable of landing and take off from 5 km altitude and will be only helicopter in its class to do so. HAL has completed the preliminary design review and it is planned to carry out the development process for multi role helicopters and is waiting for the government funding. Once government approves the funding for this project, the first flight will take off 4 years from then. One unit cost will cost around 300 crore rupees. Now during Aero India 2023, Safran and HL has signed a workshare agreement for joint development of the engine intended for the future 13-ton IMRH helicopter. This agreement follows a memorandum of understanding which was signed on 8 July 2022 and stipulates the sharing of activities within the joint venture where both parties have agreed on an equivalent repartition. In particular, HL will take part in the design, development and production of some of the core engine components which is breakthrough achievement in terms of expertise and know-how in the country. Both partners have also agreed on the condition for transfer of right to HL for manufacturing of seven critical forging and casting raw parts for further enhancement of indigenous content in the Shakti engine which is used in LH Dhruv and Light Combat Helicopter LCH. Now talking about IMRH, it is going to be a twin engine, multi-role, multi-mission, 13-ton weight class of medium lift helicopter. It is being designed to perform versatile roles and operation which includes support air assault, air transport, VIP transport, combat logistics, for example, troop transport, combat search and rescue, and casualty evacuation operations. It will eventually replace the MI-17 helicopters of Indian Air Force and will be better in many aspects than its latest version MI-17 V-5. Now, considering the requirement of our armed forces, it is estimated that Air Force, Army and Navy will procure around 200-114 IMRH helicopters respectively. The naval variant is going to be a bigger one than the Army and Air Force version and it will be called as DVMRH or deck-based multi-role helicopter. The overall cost of procurement of combined which is 314 IMRH will be $20 billion. The helicopter will be developed in collaboration with private players with minimum 50% indigenous component. IMRH is going to be equipped with a smart cockpit, composite and modular airframe, crash-worthy tricycle landing gear, 4-axis automatic flight control system, state-of-art mission system, advanced avionic systems, a service ceiling of 6.5 km, range of 800 km, endurance of 3 hours, payload of 4000 kg and maximum cruise speed of 270 km per hour. It is going to be 25.16 meter long with a height of 2.41 meter and width of 4.74 meter. It will be the most spacious helicopter in its category with troop carrying capacity of 24 to 36. The IMRH is designed to operate in extreme weather condition and high altitudes. It will have five foldable blades in main rotor made up of composite material. The tail will have four rotor blades. The IMRH will have four hard points where it can carry four anti-tank guided missiles and each hard point can carry a payload of up to 300 kilograms. It can also carry 500 kilograms of payload on the hard points near the fuselage. In total, it will have weapon payload capacity of 1600 kilograms and overall payload capacity of 4000 kilograms. At an altitude of 4.5 kilometers, it can carry payload of 1000 kilograms which will be best in its class. It will also be equipped with electronic warfare suite and self-protection jammer. Now, in order to fast track the development of AMCA and IMRH, these programs have been placed under SPV or a special purpose vehicle model involving private players with majority of stake. 
the idea behind giving majority stake to the private player is to speed up the procurement process and cut down the unwanted red tape which we have in our PSU procurement process and reduce the cost. According to HL, the expression of interest has been issued in April 2022 for the selection of SPV partner. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.